Hey what's up, Richard Rosamond here and welcome back to another exciting tutorial. Today I'm going to show you my brand new plugin Palette Mapper for After Effects. Palette Mapper analyzes every frame of a piece of footage, averages the pixel values together to derive an overall frame color, and maps it in sequence using vertical lines. The result is not only a creatively beautiful image, but also a very useful analytical tool that can show how color grading and exposure play a role in video, film, and animation. You may have seen similar effects to what Palette Mapper can do, but it's always been through a complex and time-consuming process, often hindered by technical limitations. Palette Mapper overcomes all this with a novel approach and best of all, it's 100% free. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Palette Mapper from within After Effects. I should point out that Palette Mapper doesn't work like most plugins do. It uses the power of After Effects to analyze footage, but the result we're looking for isn't a sequence, rather it's a still frame. It also requires some setup which you'll appreciate in the future as it allows you to customize your image to any dimension you want. Ok, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is load our footage. In this case, I'm going to use the Matrix movie from 1999 because it has a unique eerie green color grade that's interesting to see mapped out. The footage you use can be of any resolution, but the larger it is, the longer it will take Palette Mapper to scan through each frame. Once we have our footage loaded, we're going to drag it over and make a composition for it. Now this composition is the length of the entire movie, which is exactly 196,075 frames. That's a lot of frames. If we wanted to map out the entire movie, with one line representing each frame, we would need an image that's 196,075 pixels wide. That's not only impractical, but also impossible in After Effects as it has a hard resolution limit of 30,000 pixels wide. In our case, we're going to make an image that's 1280 by 360, so our movie length also needs to be 1280 frames long. We can easily do this by scaling our movie length to 1280 frames. We do this by going to Layer, Time, Time Stretch, and in the New Duration entry box specifying 1280. We also have to trim the length of the footage composition to the new length of 1280. We can do this by going to Composition, Composition Settings, and changing the duration to 1280. Additionally, I'm going to rename this composition Footage, which you don't have to do, but it helps keep things organized. Our entire footage and composition have now been scaled to 1280 frames. Now that we've got our footage prepared, let's make the composition for our image. I'm going to select Composition, New Composition, and I'll set the resolution to 1280 by 360. Additionally, I'm going to need to match the same duration as our scaled movie, which is 1280 frames. Finally, I'll name this composition Palette Mapper. Perfect. Now we need a solid to place in our composition. This is the solid that our plugin will be applied and rendered on. I'm going to go to Layer, New, Solid, and I'll ensure that it's set to the same resolution as my image composition. It doesn't matter what color it is because it's going to be rendered on anyway. Great, now we've got everything set up and we're ready to roll. Let's apply the Palette Mapper plugin by going to Effects, Richard Rosamond, Palette Mapper. The first thing you'll notice is that the plugin is extremely nimble and lightweight. There's only a few basic features that we'll go through. In order to get Palette Mapper to work, we only need to point it to our source layer. Let's do this by first dragging our footage composition from the project window into our image composition. We can turn off its visibility and sound because we don't need to see it or hear it. Then we select it from within the plugin and assign it to the layer. That's it! We're now ready to render the effect. If the image is small like ours, we can simply do a RAM preview by clicking on the preview button. This will run through the entire footage composition and map each frame to a vertical line in our image composition. When the render completes, we've got a rendered image. To save it, go to the last frame and click on Composition, Save Frame as, File. This will add it to the render queue, which you can then modify. Personally, I like to set the quality to best and resolution to full. Then I set my image output as a PNG and I click on OK. Finally, I set my output folder destination. 
When I'm ready to render, I click on render, and voila. Here's our final rendered image. Palette Mapper is actually very powerful and only restricted by the limitations of After Effects. This means you can create an image of up to 30,000 pixels wide. Here's the matrix rendered out to 30,000 by 360 pixels. As you can see, it's absolutely massive and super cool. In a case like this, you won't be able to RAM preview it, so you'll have to render the whole movie to your hard disk and then simply pull out the last frame. Another helpful feature of Palette Mapper is the mode. The default is color, but you can also output the luminosity of the footage. Finally, you'll notice that we have a clear image buffer button. The reason for this is because After Effects is extremely aggressive in its frame caching. If you do multiple renders in the same After Effects session, or you swap out footage for another one, you need to clear the frame buffer of both the After Effects and the plugin. You can do this by going to the first frame, then flushing the Palette Mapper image buffer by clicking on it. Once that's done, you then flush the After Effects cache by clicking on Edit, Purge, All Memory and Disk Cache, as well as Image Cache Memory. Now you're ready to do another one. You can also set the preview window resolution to a lower value like half, third, or quarter. This will not only render faster, but will also produce thicker vertical lines respective of the undersampling value. And last but not least, Palette Mapper works in both 8-bit color depth and 16-bit color depth, giving you 16.7 million colors in the former and 281 trillion in the latter. That's enough colors for every movie on the planet. That brings us to the conclusion of our demo. I hope you have fun with this plugin and feel free to email me your creations.